Nothing going on in the house. Back with another bang on video where, ladies and gentlemen, R. C. Wenger's 300-page autobiography titled "My Life in Red and White" is complete and will be out on sale this mid October. Book contains a separate chapter on his exit from Arsenal and can be pre-ordered from next Thursday at a price of around 20 euros. Moving on, Mikel Arteta speaking to BT Sport on his footballing idol. He said, "For me, it wasn't a player; it was a manager. It was Jurgen Klopp." And the way he set up the dream team at that time, Michael Lodrop was the player that I always had a strong opinion of. John Wilshere spoke about on leaving Arsenal. He says, it hasn't worked out for me, I'll be honest. It hasn't gone the way I wanted it to. I want to go get it back on track, get my career back on track, get playing games week in, week out, and start to feel like a footballer again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a lot about Kim Kalstrom. He says, I see the fans who joke on the internet about my time here, but I think it's quite fun. There's a lot of players who have done a lot more for Arsenal than me, but then at the same time, there are a lot of players who have done a lot less in a lot more time. Also, uh, he says, uh, people always ask me why I was smiling on the walk. Apparently, nobody smiles when they take that walk. But you have to understand, I was not meant to take that penalty for Arsenal at Wembley Stadium, but I did. I scored. We won. About Mikel Arteta, Kim says, I saw how professional Mikel Arteta is. Wow. He's so committed to the game and so engaged with it as well. I learned a lot from just from watching him. And uh, talking about it, Robert Lewandowski opens up about his footballing idol. He says, my idol was Thierry Henry. He wasn't just about how he scored his goals, but also what he did for his team. When he was Arsenal, he scored from different situations. He scored from the left side to the far corner with his right foot. Unbelievable. Robert Lewandowski also goes on saying, I remember when I met Henri, I was like, wow, I met my childhood idol. Now he wants my jersey and I think amazing. I believe that dreams do come true. Well, in February, Arsenal's latest accounts showed a £27.5 million loss. Despite an increase in football revenue, this is in large parts due to a wage bill around £230 million. Last summer, Director Josh Kroenke described it as a Champions League wage bill on a Europa League budget. Well, also, a sports lawyer who works with Premier League agents has spoken about, he says, we can go big without spending too much money. We can get to £60 million players for a £30 million this summer. Well, I think this is um, uh, meant more for sugar daddy clubs and clubs with owners who are willing to inject in cash to exploit a deflated market with FFP relaxations. But the main question is, will Stan Kroenke please stand up and invest? Moving on. Well, Alan Smith speaks about, he says, Henri is the best player I have ever seen fly his trade in this country. Not just the best striker, but the best player due to the fact that I saw him do things no one else has done. Well, he says he reduced top-class opponents into helpless also rants. Uh, he totally embarrassed seasoned professionals with his outrageous pace, strength, skill and confidence. In short, he elevated the striker's art on a level not seen before or since. Well, Emiliano Martinez has, has revealed that he thinks about his boyhood club in the independent, in the independent and adds that he could see himself returning to the Argentine club in the next two or three years. Also, Miguel Arteta spoke about his players. He says, I've been talking with the players individually, sometimes in units or with the whole squad. It's been really helpful to get them know better. It's only been three here, three months, so it's a good chance to get to know each other. Well, about Dries Mertens, Arsenal are interested in signing him, but on a free transfer. And it looks like a new, uh, a new contract with Napoli is expected, but it looks like the player is stalling out on a new, on a new contract with Napoli. Also, it is being said that Arsenal's interest in Mertens is really strong because even Manchester United want him at their, at their club. Also, Corentin Taliso has been watched closely by Inter Milan as well. And it looks like Manchester United have joined uh, the, the uh, pursuit for the midfielder. Moving on, Arsenal said scout urged that boss Arsene Wenger snap up Juan Mata as Barcelona. Um, uh, uh, bound Cesc Fabregas. Well, uh, uh, Cesc Fabregas replacement. Well, Juan Mata also joins the list of uh, the bigger players that could have joined Arsenal, but it's really sad. Moving on, Arsenal target Dwight McNeil has been warned by uh, Kieran Trapier about moving to a big club too soon. He says Dwight was burst, uh, has burst into the, onto the scene. 
and when he trained with us last season for England, he was brilliant. He got to stay focused, keep performing well while he's young, and his time will come. I'd, I'd say don't rush anything, just keep playing. If I was him, I'd stay put and keep playing games. Sometimes it can be difficult when you go to another club. He's not wrong. He's completely right about that. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the news and news and everything were awesome comes on this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers, subscribe, and feel the power of being an Arsenal fan. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.